Hey guys, it's Joanne. Um, it's a Saturday and I am going to give you a Dollar Tree haul today. Um, I know I haven't shown my face in a while, but let me just explain. So I started working from home and I've been two weeks at home now and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's my dream job. I'm billing, you know, every, it's, it's perfect. And it's kind of funny because my sister-in-law also works from home. And she had said to me, like, it's, it's, you're, you're going to feel weird. Like, you're going to feel like a weirdo. That's actually what she said to me. And I didn't really understand that. But I, I think that I now get it because I went out today. Like, you know, I work nine to five at home. So during the week, I don't really need to go anywhere. Um, if I do, I am going to start doing my food shopping on like Monday mornings, I think. Uh, but so overall this week, I didn't get out much. Thursday after I was done working, I had to go pick Kyle up from a friend's house and that was it. And that was the first time I got in my car since last Sunday. Um, so when I was out today, like everything just seemed so much more, I'm like the people and I was watching the people and listening to the people. And I was driving past things that I've drive past a thousand times. I was like, Oh, I've never been in there. I should go in there. I should do this and this and this. So anyway, I had to go to the UPS store and um, the Dollar Tree is right next to that. So I'm like, all right, I'm going into the Dollar Tree. Um, but also there's a pay less there and all the pay lesses are going, I guess pay less itself is going out of business. So I went into the pay less too, but everything, it's just 20% off the shoes and stuff. So that's not a big enough discount for me because I don't really need any shoes, but I'm going to keep an eye on it once it goes a little bit, um, once the percentage goes up higher, then um, I'll probably come in. And it was funny because I'm like, there, there were so many people in the store and I'm thinking, well, this is kind of sad because when the store was open running, nobody's going in, right? Well, as soon as you put a going out of business sign up, everybody goes in. So it's, it's kind of sad. You know, like, okay, we're just going in because you're going out of business and we want the big discounts. But, hey, that's what we do, right? Okay, so, um, that being said, a little bit of chit-chat, but let me get into this Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I did get, some, like, some, I bought egg noodles. I bought egg noodles at the Dollar Tree because they were, well, obviously a dollar a bag. And they're so expensive in ShopRite. They're at least, like, they haven't been on sale. And they're like two bucks a bag. So I bought two bags of egg noodles. And how bad could they be? You know, I don't know. I'll let you guys know once I, once I make them. All right, so here we go. Okie dokie. So the first area that I went into, obviously, was the spring and Easter area. So I bought... Oh, wait, he's sticking in the bag. Hang on one second. I bought these guys. Oh my goodness, how cute are they? So I have the shelf in my dining room hanging on the wall. It's like an old vintage, um, uh, I don't know, maybe it was some sort of organizer. So it's made out of wood and... I don't know. I hung it on the wall and it has like all these little nooks and crannies in it. And I try and put like for the holidays, because I don't decorate my house tremendously for the holidays, except for Christmas. But now that I'm home all the time, I'm like, I want to decorate the house. I want to look at beautiful things all the time or cute things. So these guys are going to go up there. And I do plan on doing a um, dining room tour because I love my dining room and I think you guys will like it too. So I got these guys bunny chick okay let's see and then they had these hummingbird feeders now i have a hummingbird feeder that i spent a ton of money on and it's been sitting out all winter and i don't know it's like filled with water now and i'm just waiting for once it gets cold for the glass to crack because everything else i have out there has made of glass has cracked this winter um, so I got this guy for a dollar and we'll see how it works. I probably should have picked up a bunch of them because I don't know. I mean, it's not real flimsy. It's pretty, you know, I think it's a thick enough. I have 
the nectar from last year and we do get hummingbirds in our backyard they're pretty awesome um if you guys get them let me know um okay so we got that and then all right we'll, we'll save the crafty stuff till later i bought some carpet fresh and this is called island mist oh it smells so good i love to use that on my carpet half the time when i go to vacuum i forget to use um what i have but and then i got this easter dish towel look at how cute the color like i am so ready for spring guys i don't know if you are but i am ready all right and then i bought this set of flowers you can see now the reason i bought these is because um earlier today i did upload a video for pin a pinterest collaboration that i'm in and this is what i made okay it's a roll of toilet paper in there because i had crappy toilet paper and didn't know what to do with it and i searched toilet paper crafts and there are toilet paper crafts on um pinterest so and then i had these flowers on hand but I don't know, I, I didn't really like those flowers. So I think I'm gonna change them up with these. They're a little bit lighter and I just think they'll look better than this one, see? Oh, that'll definitely look better, right guys? And my husband laughed, he's like, what are these? I'm like, well, I repurposed the toilet paper roll for my Pinterest video. So they're probably gonna be all around my house soon. Um. Okay. So let's get to some of the fun stuff. All right, so of course, back to Easter. I bought this sign to hang on my front door or in my dining room with the um, with the thing that I'm gonna put the, the things in, you know. So that's really cute. I got that and then here, I should probably save this for last because this is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna save it for last. I hope I remember to, I'm gonna keep it in my lap so I remember to show you guys. Okay, um, I bought two of these bubble mailers um, because they're a dollar and they have, I went into Staples one time and they had these same exact bubble mailers and they were like $3 a piece. So I got these because they're great for Happy Mail uh let's see and then i bought a pack of these just the manila envelopes with the bubble wrap in them for sending stuff out uh oh i got such fun stuff i bought this package of tissue paper for wrapping up my happy mail and it's unicorns I'm not so into the is it unicorns yeah it is unicorns I'm not so into the whole unicorn thing, but I love the colors and and that. So that's why I got that. Um, and then I bought some folders. There's three folders in here. Let's open them up. I need like, I started organizing my craft room and I need one for some work stuff. Here, we'll just throw that over there for now. We'll clean it up later. So there's three folders. Here's our colors, like a pink, yellow, and peach. And oh, and they're actually pretty good. They're not. They're not real flimsy. They're like your standard folder that you would get from Walmart. I don't remember how much Walmart charges for them at school time. School time is when you get all the deals, but all right. So they're good. And then I bought some stickers. I thought these were nice for um, like pocket letters and that. And I guess they're good for, um, you can use them in your planners too. And they were thicker, a thicker sticker. I didn't really like, like they didn't have that many stickers at um, my Dollar Tree today, but whatever. All right, so we showed you that, we showed you that, we showed you that, okay. And then I bought this Beacon Value Adhesive Spray. I'm really curious about this. I 
got this because I wanted to use it on, um, I have the Brother Scan and Cut. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper to test this out. Okay, so I have a Brother Scan and Cut. My cutting mat is getting, oh, let me pull this this chair good. Like the adhesive on the cutting mat is kind of running off. And rather than getting a new cutting mat, I have heard that you can just spray them down like with this adhesive. But I don't know if this is, it says fast holding, dries clear, works on paper, wood, cardboard, and more. Um, this glue is strong and flexible with no strong odor. So I'm not sure how sticky it's going to be. So let's just spray it on this piece of paper here. Ooh, ooh, that doesn't spray very nice at all, does it? Ooh, it's all over the place. All right, so we're gonna put that over there and we'll check it later. Cause I'm sure we want it to dry a little bit, but now I have glue all over the place. Um, okay, and then I bought this sign. It says, stand tall and stand out with the flamingos. I love flamingos. I'm not so into the unicorns and, well, I do like the llamas. I have my, you want to see my llama? Sorry, guys. Here's my llama. I call him Professor Llama. Isn't he awesome? I love him. So he hangs over there. We'll hang him back later. Okay. So I do like flamingos and I like the llamas, but I'm not so into the mermaids. Not so much, although I did get that tissue paper, but... I just like the colors and I know a lot of you guys are into the mermaid so I will send that out when I can so this is gonna hang in my craft room I'm trying to decorate this place up a little bit I've been um, I spent a lot of time this weekend straightening cleaning organizing so that I can do a craft room tour yeah okay I got some paper clips because I actually needed them for my desk and they did not have silver jumbo paper clips. They had little silver ones, but I didn't want those. And so all I could get were these colored ones, but that's okay. They'll work for work and happy mail. And also for the desk, I got these two trays. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put those paper clips in here and then I can organize maybe put some pens and other things in here and like stick them in the drawer. Because the desk that I'm working at is in our dining room. So I can't really, um, like, load the desk up with desk-type stuff because I want it to still look nice out there. Uh, so this will fit in the drawer, the drawer perfectly. And let's see. What else did I get? I got one of these. This is a Melty Bead Kit. I don't know if you guys remember these. I used to do these all the time when I was a kid. So this one's a little chick, which I love. So I'm going to do this and then I'm probably, they had a bunny, like an Easter bunny kind of thing, but I got the chick because I love chickens. So I'm going to do this and then hang this in my room here somewhere. But it comes with all the, all the bead things. What are they called? It comes with melty beads. It comes with the board, the melty beads, one sheet of ironing paper, one design sheet, and one instruction sheet. Um, I kind of remember these having like a little tool though to pop in and I don't think that comes in here. So I guess we'll have to do it with our hands, but either way, he's going to be adorable when he's done the little chick. And this just brings back like childhood memories of this kind of stuff. Um, okay. Not too much left guys. I bought these hooks, self adhesive hooks. I'm going to hang them throughout this room here to hang stuff up. Maybe I'll hang a hook and then... I'll hang this guy on a hook. How awesome will that look? Yeah, it will. All right. All right. So I think I've showed you everything. Let's see how our glue is doing. Ah, it's not so, well, it kind of sprayed like really thick. So I guess it would take a while to dry, but that might be good on my, on my pad because it doesn't look, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too, too sticky. I guess if I sprayed it down and let it dry and then, then put my stuff on, I wouldn't put it on wet. I would like let it dry and then, and then try it. Um, I actually have a video coming up cause I'm in a, 
well, I'm hosting a Happy Mail collaboration. And um, in that video, I, I show, like, I use my scan and cut and, and that. So, um, yeah, you guys will see how that works if you haven't already. All right, so the last thing I got, and I love this so much. And I just said to my husband, I said to my, I, like, showed my husband. And he's like, whatever. I showed him this. And I'm like, you know what? I should have bought all these and sent them out to all my crafty friends. And he's like, yeah, great. It'll cost you a dollar to buy it and $10 to send it out to all your friends. But anyway, all right, you ready? And this is going, this is going to hang in here because I just love it so much. Choo, choo, choo. Oh my God, isn't this the cutest? I should have bought more. So if you can see, they're all glittery and they have little bunny butts here and then it hangs. Jeep. All right, guys. So that is the end of my video. That's everything that I bought. Um, please subscribe. Please like. Um, tune in for future videos. And I appreciate every one of you guys who, who does subscribe and watch my videos. Um, I'm having a real blast with this. So have a great weekend and I will see you soon.